Hi guys, uh, welcome to the latest unboxing. Uh, <clears throat> I think like every gamer, I regularly go through and uh, burn out brushes. <clears throat> and like every gamer, I'm looking for a reasonably cheap alternative. Now I found these guys, uh, Battle Lab on the Mighty Bay of E. That's eBay for anybody who doesn't understand sarcasm. <clears throat> Got one, two, three, four, five Kalinsky sable brushes for just under a fiver just over including postage and packaging so I'm just going to unbox them and see what we've got this quality you can see they come with a little cardboard back to protect the brushes and little plastic bits which aren't very secure um, there we go. the one actually fell off inside but uh, let's uh, let's get these out They've got the nice big triangle handles, which I don't use a lot, but I do appreciate because they're meant to reduce the amount of shaking you get when you uh, when you use the brush. The grip feels good. I mean, personally, I like to hold it a little closer to the end, but I think we got a good thing there. There's a good feel to it. None of it's like... It doesn't feel like it's going to bend or break. It's not cheap plastic. Let's see if these all fit and stay on. Yeah, they stay on when you when you got them on normally. Um, we've got to admit, you got quite a big little ferrule bit here for a small brush there. Well, let's. Uh, they're a bit stiff when you get get them first. Let's put some water in that and just soften that up. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm not expecting I'm not expecting a lot from brushes this price. Uh yeah, let's focus. Focus. As you can see, they've got quite a good amount of spring, which is something you want in these brushes. Um let's look at the uh Let's look at the biggest brush. Yeah, they're a little stiff when you first get them, so I've just got sorry, I've just got a water pot. As you can see from the bubbles, it's got a little bit of washing up liquid in it just to help me clean them off to begin with. Okay, that actually feels very nice. <sighs> Similar to spring to what I'd expect from an army painter synthetic, really. Um the point is, let's get that focused. We can see the point's not bad. Um, let's try. I'm just looking for one of the size. This is a, a zero size brush, so this is close to close to a starter brush. You can see the size they come in. Let's have a look. We have several sizes let's just actually look at what sizes we get in this pack we get a 50 which is your tiny one a 30 which is kind of like a fine detail brush 20 kind of like your basic detail brush 10 which is kind of like as i say your gw star brush And a two, which is kind of like your base coating, priming kind of size brush. So <clears throat> you've got a good selection of sizes there. Now I'm going to take the uh, zero here and I'm just going to look at that. Okay, you can see it does bend a little, isn't as springy as perhaps it could be. Again, for a cut price budget brush, I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting these to be the same as, for example, the nine pound Kalinsky sabers you get. All right, I'm going to take some paint. I'm just going to take it over to my easel and just water it down a tiny bit. There's all your paints. Okay, it's not. St you can see it's not sticking to the brush. It's uh, not globbing or anything like that. It's got a reasonable amount of what we call capillary attraction in that it's sucking up the brush, but not too far. And I've got this random model which I'm in the process of painting, so I'm just going to try and. 
Okay, the point's not great, but it's not terrible. Just slightly load up the brush a bit. Let's take a bit of a bit globbed paint off there. Let's just take that off. Okay. Let's see how we do. Going up to edges. Okay. Not a great brush, but certainly a serviceable one. We can already see there's a few. We can already see here that there's a few loose hairs. And it doesn't maintain tip brilliantly. But again, I'm mostly looking at these for mass base coating. So the tip's not the tip's not gone everywhere. And some of those loose hairs are actually could actually be trimmed out. So all in all, not not terrible brushes. Uh probably in all fairness, being as these brushes cost me less than a pound each. That's that's about what you'd expect. I, I, I'd say these aren't bad value for a pound. I'd say for an extra pound, you could get army painter brushes, which are substantially better. But uh, so you know, you judge for yourself uh, whether it's good value for money. Uh, Kalinsky, um, maybe not. <coughs> I mean, that is just down to a kind of sable rather than a, rather than anything else. But it does tend to, it does tend to uh, speak of quality. So I'm just going to try it with the big brush. And again, oh, just got to just going to bring that to a point. And again, you can see we've got a few loose hairs. Sorry, we've got a few loose hairs that could be trimmed, but. All in all, it's holding its point reasonably well, and it's uh, feeding the paint to the model reasonably well. There's a bend, but there's a spring. Sorry, there's a, yeah, you can see there's a bend to it after I painted, but there's a spring. But yeah, not the worst brushes in the world. They'll do me for getting the team painted. Uh, obviously, I've got an army painter brush and a couple of better brushes, some GW ones, and that. <clears throat> which I'll probably use, need to use to get the fine detail um, <clears throat> because I'm not entirely sure how well these will work let's have a look how, how this one goes yeah okay yeah not bad it's getting in it's getting into the bits as you can see without too much loss <clears throat> so yeah all in all I've used better brushes but considering how much these cost not bad <clears throat> if you're looking to do golden demon perhaps not but if you if you're just here looking to paint an army quick in a quick and dirty way so that it's tabletop ready <clears throat> you could do a lot worse okay thanks very much for watching hope you guys found this uh, educational or at least entertaining Hi guys, hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. I'm not sure why, but I am. Um, so, if you like it, see me there, and uh, please tell your friends. Thanks very much. Bye.